One of the things that I really like about my job is that I uh, am always working on different things. I, I'm never working on the same issue twice. I work on the full spectrum of the project from you know, generating the idea of the location to figuring out what the energy generation is to figuring out where we can actually put turbines. I can never be done learning in this job. My name is Patrick Smith. I am the Director of Environmental Planning for Geronimo Wind Energy. I handle all of our permitting, our energy analysis, and geographic data that we develop. I worry about what the visual impact is going to be. I worry about, you know, what the sound is going to be off the turbines and, you know, how they're going to experience them in the landscape. That's really what I do. The typical day doesn't happen very often. You know, I'm out in the field, I have to go to different sites, and I'm wearing jeans as often as I am wearing ties, you know, and I've got to go and walk around on these sites to make sure that there's no liabilities out there that we're, you know, accurately putting up our, our wind measurement equipment. Um, I also have a lot of public meetings that I go to at night, so I'll sometimes be traveling during the evenings, so it isn't always a typical day. I worked as a social researcher for the Science Museum of Minnesota. I was helping do some research on learning there. I also worked for a neighborhood development organization. A lot of that experience has really come together and really helped me in this job. I played soccer in high school and that was really important to actually hear, you know, just being able to work in a team because the wind development process is really interdisciplinary. You've got to be able to pull from different areas all the time. If you've had experience working in um, development of any sort, really, you face a lot of the same issues that we face when we're working on a wind farm. You've got to get permits from the counties, and you've got to get permits from the state, and you've got to make sure that you know, your construction crews are doing the things the right way. It's, it's all a very similar process. We're just putting up windmills instead of houses. Understanding the legal aspects of our, our projects, understanding the policy implications, and also being able to perform a lot of the environmental analyses that I need to do. Being able to run some sort of geographic information software, being able to do some of the statistical analyses that I need to do. Folks in the environmental field that really have a good understanding of how a lot of those processes work can bring a lot of skills to it. I went to the University of Minnesota Morris. I went there for cultural anthropology. I also um, did a lot of coursework in sociology and history. And that work has served me well in, in two areas. I was able to really understand how to communicate with people and to understand their needs a lot better. We don't own the land that we're trying to put our wind turbines up on. We're going to people and asking them if we can have permission to do this. And being able to work with them and, and understand where they're coming from is, is a really important skill. I think two of the misconceptions about wind energy are that we don't really care, we don't spend time analyzing what, what the human element is in designing the wind farm. Um, and then the other big misconception that I think we have is that wind energy does, doesn't pair well with other generation sources. Uh, worrying about what people think about wind farms and, and how it's going to fit into the human landscape and how it's going to fit into people's lives once, once a project is built is really my job. You know, I'd tell somebody that was, that's interested in getting into the wind business to you know, try and build some of their technical skills, their, um, build their knowledge about how environmental processes work, whether it's how weather works or how geologic processes work because we're built for tall things and on little tiny posts that are really heavy so you've got to understand the geology too. Um, to understanding how wildlife patterns work, to understanding how to relate to people because you're leasing their land and you've got to, you know, you've got to work with them in the design of the project, in the operation of the project, in every aspect. <laughs>